Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with a review of a South Korean exploitation drama horror film, horror revenge film from 2010. And tonight's movie is Bedeviled. Bedeviled is about um, a woman who is basically subjected to various forms of torture while um, on vacation on this remote island while she seeks a way to escape this island. Now, this movie is South Korean. It's it's uh, part of you know exploitation films and extreme cinema. It's also a revenge film. Now, I'd like to say something first. It sounds very similar to another revenge film. This one isn't Korean, but it is uh, part of the New French Extremity, which is made up of films like High Tension and Frontiers and Inside and um, and um, Them, stuff like that. And uh, the movie I'm talking about, of course, is probably the most well-known uh, movie in the um, New French Extremity. It's um, Martyrs. Martyrs is a really, really well-known movie. Um, and I and I mean, I absolutely love this movie. It's really awesome. Although, um, although I don't think it's as disturbing as people say it is. Like, honestly, I didn't find it that disturbing. I will admit, like, the last 20 minutes or so are, is pretty uh, brutal. But other than that, I don't think it's too bad. Now, um, if it wasn't obvious, um, you know, I'm a big fan of exploitation films. And uh, a very large amount of films under the exploitation genre are revenge films. So, of course, we have rape and revenge films. We have films like Escape from Hell. We have stuff like um, Last House on the Left, I Spit on Your Grave. Thriller, cruel picture, and even some more um, like artsy kind of. I don't. When I might say artsy. I mean it in the nicest way possible. Artsy, sophisticated stuff like um, the skin I live in, which is probably one of the most just like intelligent and amazing revenge films I've ever seen. I absolutely love this this movie as well. But um, I mean I'm pretty well versed in it, and there are. In, in recent years, there have been a lot of, uh, in the last like 10 or so years, there have been a lot of um, extreme like cinema revenge films to come out of Korea, well, South Korea specifically. Um, stuff like the Vengeance Trilogy with, stuff like the Vengeance Trilogy with Sympathy for Lady Vengeance, Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, and the one and only Old Boy, which is easily the best film out of the Vengeance Trilogy. As well as I Saw the Devil, which is like a two and a half hour long, ultra stylized, ultra violent Korean revenge film. And so I've seen enough revenge films and enough Korean revenge films specifically to know that this movie could be very well be awesome. Um, all I have to do now is sit back and watch the movie. So without further ado... Let's check out Bedeviled. <clears throat> so the movie starts out with this girl and she's like being harassed in the streets. Um, these guys are just like following her and messing with her and shit. Um, with some credits and the credits are like rolling over it. And then we're in an office building where she works. And, um, you know, she answers the phone and someone's like harassing her. She tells them that she tells her the person on the other line to stop. And she talks to the police about this and she claims that she doesn't remember the guy's faces because the guys are in the same room when she's talking to the police officer. She goes out to the parking lot and they talk to her even more and they're like, hey, don't, you, don't you say anything. Like, they, uh, the, um, and she really, she's like really getting stressed out and she freaks out at her job and her boss kind of calls her into the office and is like, hey, take a vacation. This is when she goes to an, a distant island 
um, off the coast of Korea, off the coast of South Korea, that um, her friend lives on. And I stopped right there. Um, okay, starting off with the acting. The acting in this movie is really good all around. Um, I mean, it is not the greatest acting I've ever seen in a movie. It is not the end-all, be-all of Korean, like, films, acting. It's, it's good. It's not great. Um, well, it's really good, actually. Um, the writing is the same. It's not, like, the writing in it isn't as great as it is in, like, Old Boy, but it's still really, really good. The characters are very, well, are very well written, so is the dialogue, so is the story. The um, characters are, you know, uh, I mean, they're not, they're not like the deepest characters ever, but they're pretty deep. And, you know, you sympathize with them, you like them, you hate them. Um, the effects in this movie, what there is of blood and, like, gore, is pretty good. The camera work is uh, really good in this movie, along with the lighting. Uh, the film isn't as stylized as, like... Um, as I Saw the Devil is, but it's still really good. Um, the music's also really good. Uh, you know, it's, I mean, it's not as good as the, uh, the again, the old boy soundtrack. It's not as good as that. Um, the sound mix is also really good. And I really like this movie, and it is nothing like Martyrs at all. Even though the plot that I read for it doesn't sound very similar to Martyrs, it sounds very similar to Martyrs, it is not like Martyrs at all. Other than the fact that this movie is pretty depressing. And while Martyrs is just non-stop depressingness hitting you, um, depressing scene is just constantly hitting you. This is like depressing scene, then a little bit of comical relief. You know, there's actually a bit of humor in this film. Uh, it's kind of like uh, Sympathy for Lady Vengeance, how there are scenes that will make you laugh and then the next scene will make you bawl your fucking eyes out. Uh, I mean, I don't have any complaints for this movie, actually. Um, I kind of wish I had more to like rant or rave about for this film, so I'm just going to go on to the gore meter. On the gore meter from 1 to 10, 1 being something like Nosferatu and 10 being something like Brain Dead. Uh, Bedeviled is probably, uh, I want to say maybe a solid five. It, it does not get that bad until, like, you hit the last, like, uh, 40, 30 minutes or so. And even once you hit that, it's still not that bad. This movie, honestly, it's like a combination of The Wicker Man and, um, it's like a combination of The Wicker Man, uh, Sympathy for the Lady Vengeance, and, um, The Last Circus. This film is a real bummer. Um, but there's also some humor scenes in it. But it does not get to be, like, an extreme, just, like, downer until you reach, like, the, until you're, like, 40 minutes in, and it really does get depressing. Um, it doesn't really become a revenge horror film until you're about, like, 70 minutes in uh, until you're about like 70 minutes in and um, I mean the change the change is so sudden in the film that like I mean I knew it was gonna happen you know I'm just waiting I'm, I was sitting there watching the movie I'm like it's gonna happen it's gonna happen and then it happened and it happened so fast that I was just like whoa I had to like pause the movie and 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 like you know, put myself back together and think, did, did that just happen? Um, and, and I'll be honest, um, I've, I've read some reviews that said uh, that once it makes the turn to being like a revenge film, it kind of ruins the film as a whole. And honestly, for me, that change didn't ruin it. It honestly made it better. And I would have given this film a 9 out of 10. You know, if it, if the film hadn't made a change that suddenly, but because it did, I have to give it a 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5. It's pro. I, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and be ballsy enough to say, I mean, it's not as good as Audition. I'll say that, but it is probably the Korean equivalent of Audition, of Audition, um, in the sense that one of the main characters, the main kind of character, anti-hero, heroine kind of person, is a female. And, I mean, that's it. Now, if I'm going to say a film is the, uh, you know, Korean equivalent, 
like the full on like just Korean equivalent to audition in the sense that it's a masterful film it's old boy but you know <sighs> so anyway guys if you like the video, like my channel, be sure to like this video, favorite it, whatever you want, and maybe subscribe, perhaps. I would really, really appreciate that, and check the links in the description below. There are links to things like my Tumblr, Twitter, all that, Facebook, all that is in the description below. Hey there, kids. Do you want to get cool stuff in the mail like this? Or this? Or even this? Well then subscribe to Horror Block today. Have you ever wanted to do cool cosplays like this? Or this? Or even this? Well, now you can. Subscribe to Chloe Moonchild Cosplay on YouTube and you can see all her tutorials on how to do cool stuff like this. Do you want to get cool horror and exploitation film t-shirts like this? Or this? Or this? Well, then go to RottenCotton.com to check out all of their premium t-shirts.